as the one show with my fake And up. Alex Jones. Now, tonight we are going to say hello to the American comedian uh, who took on a real challenge when he moved his whole family here to the UK for his first ever sitcom. Yes. Now, five years later, Rob Delaney, <laughs> there he is, will tell us how he's come to love his adopted country. <laughs> and he's even coping with the British weather. <laughs> We love Rob Delaney. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be with you shortly, or you'll be with us shortly anyway, Rob. Uh, plus, we're going to meet the teenager who spent her life obsessed yeah. with birds uh, as this baby photo Aww. of her prunes. Look at that! Aww. How lovely. Super cute. Well, she's grown up a bit since then. She's now age 17, and Maya Rose has become the youngest person ever to spot half of the world's bird species. It's quite That's an achievement. Let's applaud you on that one. Yeah. And that was last year to see the most of them. Someone who's also spotted a bird or two in his time mm. is Spring Watch's Chris Packer. Yay! Yay! Good evening, hey, Chris. Chris. How are you? I'm oh, very well, thank you. Very good. I'm now, a bit miffed now that I've been trumped by Maya in terms of my world bird total. I was going to say, well, you've, got, you? go. yeah. you've got competition there, haven't you? <laughs> yeah. How, uh, do, you, do you still keep kind of a log of the birds? Of I, all I the stopped species counting at about three and a half thousand, which sounds really? like a lot of birds, but as I say, I've been trumped by Maya, and we've got more than 10,000 different species, so I'm, yeah. I'm never going to catch her on. I imagine you have logs of stuff, though, when you were younger, of the stuff that you, did you write it all down? I've still got the logs of stuff have that you? I wrote down. Yes, of course. We're meticulous in our needs to keep records. So yeah. I've got all of my British list, my European list, and then finally when I started travelling, my, my world list. Um, yeah. The thing is, the taxonomist keeps splitting the species, so sometimes you lose one, sometimes you gain three, so you constantly have to revise your list. Yeah. Like Maya will be it's up like there. Burning every every then, evening it? should be on a computer revising. Yeah. On a lovely yeah. sentiment. Well, watching out with us is somebody who's definitely seen a pied wagtail before. Uh, Maya Rose, you know Chris, you, you're yeah. big We've friends. We've known each other for many years. Yeah. Good, good. It, Rob, this is Maya Rose. Now, Maya Rose <laughs> holds a special record. Um, would you tell Rob all about it and how you got that record, Maya? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, this summer, I was in Brazil with my parents and I became the youngest person in the world to see over half of the birds in the world. That's amazing. Um, <laughs> you obviously have a very supportive family uh, to make this happen, Maya Rose. So where have you been in the world? <laughs> um, my parents are brilliant, actually. They're yeah. the one that sort of gave me the birding bug. Yeah. They, like, like you saw in the picture, they <laughs> yeah. take me out. Yeah, you are tiny there. <laughs> since I was a baby. Yeah. Um, and... They sort of just started taking me traveling around the world. Like when I was in year six, they literally took me out of school for six months and like mm. toured me around South America and things like that. Um, so very, very lucky. Are you going to try and see all the birds in the world? Is, um, is that the plan? I mean, that would be fantastic. But like Chris was saying, they just keep on making new ones. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. quite hard to catch up. Yeah. And you're about to receive a doctorate as well on top of this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Something really special and important that you've been doing. So just tell us a bit about that then. Um, so because I've been sort of in the bird watching community for quite a long time and I'm half Bangladeshi, I noticed when I was like 11 or 12 mm. that it's... Um, there, it's nearly devoid of diversity. There's very few minority ethnic people involved in the environmental sector. Mm -hmm. right. So I started running these camps every summer where it's basically um, giving minority ethnic people from inner city Bristol the opportunity to come down to like Glastonbury or the Somerset levels and engage with nature in some way. Um, and it's so nice, like it's so gratifying because yeah. I don't think we've ever met a kid who hasn't like had a really nice time and engaged with nature in this new opportunity. Yeah. Um, and so, like, from that, I ended up setting up this organisation <laughs> called Black to Nature, which has been um, campaigning the sector for about five years now um, to try and encourage more diversity, because it's the, it's the second worst in the UK, oh, with 0.6% wow. um, of the sector being minority ethnic. Yeah. So. Well, we can see why you've been honoured for that. It is fantastic <laughs> work. We're, 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 if you want a little clip out into the future side, Rob, but we know exactly who's going to go away Absolutely superb. Well, Maya Rose, thank you so much indeed. Uh, big thanks to Chris as well and to Rob. Yeah. Jackie is available to watch on Amazon Prime Video uh, from tomorrow and Chris's documentary at 7.7 .7 billion people and counting is on BBC Two next Tuesday. Yes, uh, tomorrow Chris Ramsey will help me welcome Daniel Radcliffe and Alan Cumming. Ooh. Are we turning our pets into a giant half? You know, a normal Friday. As you do. <laughs> 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 <laughs>